we are looking at arc length and sector area. Arc length and sector area. So first of all, we have to see what is the meaning of arc length and what is the meaning of sector. A sector is a portion of a circle starting from the center. Mm -hmm. Real life examples of a sector, which most of us know, is when a piece of pizza and sometimes a piece of cake, those are sectors. So this part I'm shading is representing a sector. And to be specific, this is a minor sector. And the other part, this part, which is this all, is our major sector. So a minor sector is the portion which is less than 180, but the major one is the portion which is greater than 180 side. So this is what we call a sector. And one part is minor, the other part is major. Arc length. Remember, an arc is a portion of circumference. An arc is a portion of circumference. So when it's not a complete circle, when it's not a complete circle, it's an arc. So that means the distance from here till here is what we call arc length the distance around. So being this is smaller also, this is known as the minor arc length. And the other side is known as the major arc length. But how do we find, how do we find the length of an arc? Remember, the same formula for finding circumference, which is, 2 pi r will also apply when you are finding the arc length. So the length of an arc will apply and the sector area also will take theta over 360 pi r square. Since it is a portion of the circle, so it's pi r square, and this is a portion of a circumference, so it is 2 pi r. So where is the angle? The angle is at the center here. And if this is the center, so this is our radius, and that is our radius. So we can find the arc length there. However, how do you find the perimeter of a sector? Perimeter is basically simple. First, find the arc length. Then plus the radius, plus the radius, because if I get the arc length from there till here, then I go to the radius and I go to the radius. Means now I have a complete, a complete perimeter. So this is how we find the area of a sector, the arc length and perimeter of, of a sector. Let's see one example. Here we are given a sector. This is the radius of a sector because this is like our center, and this is another radius, then automatically this is our arc length. But the first question says, find the area of the sector. As we say, area of a sector is equal to theta over 360 pi r, pi r square. So I will have my theta, which is the angle at the center, which is 60. And then I will multiply by pi in the calculator together with the radius in square. Then I get my answer as 25.65634. This is our area of the of this, of this sector. So finally I can say my area is 25. 0.7 centimeter square. The next, find the arc length. So in order to get the length, I will take 
the formula, which is 2 pi r theta over 360. And my angle is 60 over 360 times 2 times pi times the radius. After getting, put in the calculator and get the solution. And I get 7.3 3038258. This is my full calculator answer. Normally, according to the law, we are not allowed to round off until the last final answer. And if my final answer now, I can round off. My L is 7.33 centimeter. And according to Cambridge, normally we write to three significant figures. So one, two, three. Last part, find perimeter of the sector. And we say perimeter, I will take the arc length plus radius plus radius. And according to my calculator answer, arc length is 7.3303828. By eight plus radius, which is seven, plus another radius, which is seven. So when I add all of them three, I end up with 21.3303286. This is my answer. So finally, I can say 21. 0.3 centimeter. This is how we find arc length and sector area together with perimeter. Thank you for watching.